morning everybody welcome back to my channel hope you had a fantastic Easter um, today I have a flip through of my tall skinny journal that I've just completed I absolutely loved working on this it's about 12 inches long by about four or five inches wide and um, this is a lot of stitching a lot of hand stitching and a lot of old fabrics I apologize for the light we're working with romantic light today <laughs> I don't know what's wrong we're in autumn here and I'm trying to get the lighting right I've got all these lights coming from every different angle and it doesn't seem to be right but I think it might have something to do with my phone um, and that's down to Samsung it's a new phone but anyway I digress right so we have uh, what it is is a bubble wrap um, plastic envelope that I cut down and I've covered with this lovely linen type fabric with roses and I've got a lovely old doily that I've I've couched down um, this is a lovely old brooch it's a real antique brooch and so you can see there I've I've actually done that by hand there's no machine machine stitching on this it's just it was a lovely slow stitching project and there's a lot of machine stitching around the edge and we've got some chiffon ribbon here to tie it up and that goes in underneath the cover so that's really really firm and then I've got some lovely lovely old lace along the back and the front just like a lovely long pocket there um, the, the challenge with this before I quickly get through the flip through is I was going to do it as just a cover and then I decided that I was going to sew my signatures in but I'd already done all of this work and all of this work and I didn't like my chances of getting through uh, you know with the all and I thought oh, a hidden spine on fabric well oh, it's gonna be a bit tricky but that's what I've exactly what I've done and I figured out that if I did the hidden spine on my usual stiff card where you just um it's only two signatures so you can see there it's actual it's actual cardboard and so they're into that but then to get that to adhere to the fabric and carry all the weight I thought to myself I had some felt and I thought the felt would have be fibrous enough to stick really really well with the cardboard and with Fabri-Tac come down the glue really good to the um, to the linen and it's it's really worked a treat it's really worked a treat so there's a little bit of felt underneath that and it's it's flexible yet it's really firmly on right so every page is doubled because I originally had a lot of uh, photocopies that were done on 80 GSM and they were too flimsy and I didn't want to waste them obviously so I backed them with some lovely newspaper uh, paper from a pad and then I've stitched it together and it's given it a really lovely weight and the texture has come out looking really really vintage so there's a lot of ruby and pearl images in here and a lot of um, now you know the curse of filming I've forgotten I'll put it all in the description box because I really have forgotten right so we've got a lot of old scrappy pieces of fabric doilies um, journal cards and again feminine so pretty I love the ladies I love all the romance and the roses it was a lovely rose kit just a hand embellished um, piece of old paper there with some folding up and a lovely image of a swan another swan I don't know what it is about swans lately but yeah, I'll go down the swan the swan river <laughs> isn't there a song Swanee River no no don't go down there die um, yes yeah, so a little tag there you'll anyone who follows my channel will will remember all my little secret writing places in my homemade tags pockets so there's a lot of pockets in that one 
a lot of stenciling which really elevates the page so it's a writer's journal as per usual a lovely big tag lots of lovely envelopes so I'll definitely list all the kits that I've used this is the center of the first signature and it's got two lovely big pockets and I've just popped some nice um, envelopes in there then we've got a recycled old envelope here with our oh I couldn't have put that on put that to the side just a nice tag and I've just put a pretty little Gee, I hope this is coming up all right. I do apologize for the quality of this. I'm in, I'm in discussions with Samsung. This is a new phone. Very, very happy with the phone. However, it is not true to color. I was taking some uh, pictures of a needle case I'd made and it, was, uh, it had a hot pink tassel on it and it was coming up as salmon in all the pictures. So I got my husband's, he's also got a brand new Samsung. We got them just after Christmas, for heaven's sake. And on his photos, they were coming up as hot pink. But on mine, a dusky salmon. So um, this is reading true what, what I'm seeing now on the screen. But when it comes to take a picture, and that's just not on. So anyway, I'm waiting for Samsung uh, to call me back and hopefully... It'll be something simple that I can just fix. I've been through all the settings and everything, but it's a real pain. I mean, you pay a lot of money for these phones. Right, so this is another one of those lovely tall. I think I've got um, a tutorial on these. I love these. And I've just texture pasted over ancient old uh, music sheet there. But that's really lovely writing space. Some lined paper, all backed. And then nice journal cards, there's four of them in there. Um, more swans. Oh, how surprising. <laughs> it's another nice, t I think that's from Raindrop Lila. I think, but I could be wrong. I usually have everything all written down. I'll leave that for later. No, that goes in there, that's right. I'm looking for a pocket where there wasn't one. Um, so to move this up, uh, nice big pocket there. Then we've got another situation. We've got um, you can pull this down and that down, and you've got secret writing space there, which is sort of like a false pocket. And then one, two, three, four tag holders there. journal card and a tag some more little ephemera there um, this must be in the back of that other pocket so what have I got here I've got a fabric a fabric um, pocket here with a tag and then three tags that go up Oh, that's on the next page. I knew that. And that's one of those secret little writing spaces. I don't know what they're called, but they're adorable. I just pop that in there. And I don't even remember what opens and what doesn't. But it's it's really I love roses. I love femininity. Um, and this is a tag, but I've also included a sec the secret little pocket thing in the bottom of the tag. Oh, hang on, this is a bit, a bit stiff. There we go. That looks adorable. Right, so there you have it. That is my tall, skinny journal, and it's so, so pretty. Simple, beautiful, and pretty. And um, this will be listed in my Etsy shop for sale. 
I, I won't list it just yet. I'm going to do a huge Mother's Day sale coming up where everything will be at really affordable prices because I'm getting to the stage now where I've got so much stock, which is lovely to say. Well, for me, it's so much stock because usually I make a journal, I sell a journal, I make and sell pretty much a minute it goes up, which I'm very, very fortunate. And um, But because I haven't been having sales, I've been making sporadically and not listing them. And um, yeah, so look out for that one. And also there'll be a 2000 subby giveaway coming uh, very, very shortly because thank you so, so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you just found me, I don't normally waffle like this. Please, please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this. We do a lot of fun things and um, thank you to all my current subscribers. I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through. Even if you've had to put it on mute, <laughs> apologies. Anyway, thank you all so much. Lovely to um, talk to you again and I'll be back again very, very soon. So have a lovely day, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye. See ya.